So, in this question, we have someone pulling an object at an angle. And so we have the athlete pulling at a force F, angle 25. It's moving at steady speed, which means constant speed. So steady speed means constant. If the speed is constant, then the acceleration is zero. And by Newton's second law, F net equals MA, if A is zero, the net force is going to be zero. So that means while the, while the athlete is pulling the load, we have a force of friction backwards, and we have a force applied in the x direction, and they are equal and opposite. That's because it's constant velocity. The forces are balanced. So that's the most important thing to see. And the frictional force is 470 Newton. We want to know what the force F is. So what is F? So when we break this down, we clearly have to look at the components. We have this force F, 25 degrees, and we have our Fx applied. And we have Fz applied. Now we know Fx applied is 470 Newtons. So that tells us right off the bat, this must be greater than 470 Newtons. So we've got a built-in check right away. So we let's do our, our trigonometry. This is going to be our, here's our theta. Here's our opposite side. Here's our adjacent side. Here's the hypotenuse. So this is a cosine. Cosine of 25 is adjacent, which is Fx applied over the hypotenuse F. And solving for F, F then is Fx applied over cosine 25, 470 over cosine 25. And F then is 518.587 Newtons. <clears throat> so now we have to lastly, we, well, we check this. First of all, we see it is bigger than 470 Newtons, and it's reasonably so. Then we need to determine the number of significant digits. We have 470, which at most we could certify as being 2, and 25 degrees is 2. So we can report two significant digits. So F is 5.2 times 10 to the second Newtons. We go back and double check the average force that will move at constant speed. And that's our answer. In the next question, we are asked, we are told that it's travel, it's pulled for 2.5 kilometers in 1.2 hours. So a couple things should jump out at us. These are non-standard units, kilometers and hours. So we'll have to do some conversion. And we just simply want to know the work. Well, the work is the force times the distance. And we know that the force applied is 470 newtons. And the distance, 2.5 kilometers, is 2,500 meters. So that gives us a resulting, a whopping, 1,175,000 joules. Again, in both of these cases, we can report only two significant digits. So that means we're going to have a 1.2 times 10 to the 6th joules. Or we could say that is 1.2 megajoules. So those are the two units we could use to express our answer for BI. The minimum power to move the load. Well, the power is the work divided by the time. So we already know we have 1175000 one, 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 zero, zero, zero joules on top, and the time, 1.2 hours. Well, 1.2 hours times 60 minutes per hour times 60 seconds per minute. Minutes cancel, hours cancel, we're left with just seconds. So we have that over 1.2 times 60 times 60. And that power then turns out to be 271.99 watts or to two significant digits. 2.7 times 10 to the second watts. And there are a couple ways we could have done that one, but that's the way we elected to do that. The last question, part C, pulls it uphill at the same speed. 
So what that means is we now have this load being pulled uphill, being dragged uphill at the same speed V. <clears throat> so why should the power be more? Well, we'll start out with our definition. Power is the rate of doing work, work over a period of time. And so we already were doing the work against friction, which we would also be doing. So we have the work being done against friction, but now we are also doing work against gravity because we are changing, because of the change in delta Z, we are doing work against gravity. So there is also potential gravitational energy being done. And since the motion is at the same time, we have more work being done in the same amount of time. So we start with element one, power is work divided by time. Part two, we still have to do the work against friction. Three, we are also doing work against gravitational potential energy. Four, in the same amount of time, therefore, the power is greater. More work in the same amount of time. And that is question A27.